Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing an unexpected fish rescue. So hi guys, um, I've just been called on a fish rescue so I will leave you now to watch the rest of the footage and I'll see you back here at the end of the video. So I've just had a call from a lady who is in desperate need to rehome two of her Mozambique mouth brooders. Um, they're type of cichlid, I think they're basically a tilapia. Um, her tank has bust and she needs them to go to a new home right now. So we're going to head over and do a little rescue now and go and pick these guys up. So it's a much bigger box than I actually anticipated it would be. They're supposedly really big, I haven't actually seen them yet. So uh, we'll get them down to the summer house and we'll have a little look. So I've just opened the top a little bit just to have a look. These are absolutely huge. Literally like huge. So I have got them in the tank now. Um, as you can see the water's all green. I've had to do some treatments on them. Um, unfortunately they look like they've got white spot. Um, the one on the right, the female's got a bit of a burn on her lip. Um, and the male has unfortunately got a anal prolapse. Um, so I need to treat them for a few days um, and get them all better. I've used some of their Escher products. Um, a little concoction of those which will hopefully make them better but I don't know if you can see they've already created a big sort of bowl out of the gravel and they're already showing breeding behaviour so before I have a chance to sort them out they're probably going to already have eggs <laughs> so yeah watch this space I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow when the tank has gone clear and we can have a really good look at the fish see you tomorrow So it's the next day now, um, I have just added some aquarium salts into the tank to promote the healing and hopefully to help with the anal prolapse on the male. Um, I've also been feeding algae wafers and I've just put some watercress from the pond in there because these guys will pretty much eat anything. Um, so hopefully the greens will give them some fibre um, and hopefully help with the bum problem um, but yeah he's made a big old nest now the gravel's right up the glass so I'd imagine that they will probably start spawning soon um, I've put a airline in there as well because when you're doing treatments and things it can reduce the oxygen in the water so yeah, we'll come back again later and see how they're getting on. So this is the evening now of the next day. You can see the tank's an absolute mess. That is because he had completely dug out a, a massive, basically, breeding nest. And the gravel was right up the front of the tank. But then because he'd sort of finished having anything to do he was just constantly chasing her around the tank and she was becoming quite stressed so I've just taken one of my tank tools and spread the gravel back out a little bit so that he's got something to focus on so he leaves her alone um, 
the treatment seems to be working quite well. The white spots on them have already started to shrink. You can see the water droplets on the front of the tank there where they've literally been, where he's chased her, they've just been splashing so much water out and it's just been dripping all over the floor. Um, so bless her, she's been quite stressed but hopefully she'll be able to calm down a bit now. But yeah, he's very feisty. Aren't you mate? It's a beautiful fish though. But yeah, a bit of domestic violence going on here. So I thought I'd try and give him something to focus on so he leaves her alone. So it's all cloudy because obviously I've just stirred it all up. So I'm going to go to bed now. And so this is day three. So the treatments are all complete now. So we'll come back in the morning and do a final update before this video goes out and we'll see how they're doing then. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! So I thought I'd just come back quickly. As soon as I put the camera down, he's already started recreating his little nest again. So it seems to be keeping him occupied. So now he's leaving her alone. She's gone a lot lighter in colour already because she was almost black earlier, but you can see him now scooping up the up the gravel and then bringing it to the front. He's not going to do it now because I'm filming. Come on. So yeah, hopefully that will keep him busy now and he'll leave her alone. I really am going to bed now. Night. So we're back again the next morning. Uh, this will be day four. Um, as you can see, moving all that substrate back has obviously kept him busy because he's already started pushing it back up again. She doesn't seem as stressed this morning. She's not hiding up in the corner. There is lots of dripping down the front again. I wiped it off last night before I went to bed so that I could see if they'd been splashing again. So he obviously has been splashing. Um, but yeah, so this is how they're looking at the end of the week. He's still got quite a bad prolapse. It doesn't seem to have gone down at all. They both don't seem to be suffering as much now from the ick or white spot. So I'll just keep monitoring them. Obviously this is just a hospital tank. It's far too small for them to stay in permanently. But my hope is to get them back to health and then to rehome them to somebody with a massive tank. So yeah, that's where we're at right now with a dirty glass, an anal prolapse and yeah, an obsessive husband. <laughs> So that was our little experience with rescuing those fish. I hope you've enjoyed our little fish rescue mission and if you have then hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more content in the future and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!